Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here. Today we've got another tier list video. Uh, this one's going to be quite, quite subjective, so I'm actually really intrigued to see the results of your guys's. Uh, and so, if you want to join the Discord, put your photos in there. YouTube's not the best way to do that, but or even in the comments, write down what each of the things are. So, I've gathered a list of 40 EDM genres or subgenres within EDM uh, to kind of go through a tier list and see my opinion on it generally. It's kind of hard because obviously, like a, a like, let's take Bass House for example. There are a lot of bass house songs I enjoy and a lot of bass house songs I don't enjoy. So where even is the list? I think it's just general terms of what I enjoyed or don't enjoy. And so it's it's very subjective. This whole thing will be very subjective. Um, if you want to do this for yourself, you can do it in the link below. But we've got 40 genres. Some of them are a little more uh, very, very subgenre, like very, very niche. Some of them are a little bit more broad. And so uh, we'll just get into it and see how it goes. Um, first up, uh, we're going alphabetical order, ambient. Uh, this one's specifically in EDM is a genre I really enjoy. Uh, I love atmospheric tracks, ones that are like kind of get you thinking, get you going and not get you going, get you thinking and, and really absorbing and just feeling. And so, um, you know, I'm going to go B. I'm, I'm a sucker for the kind of chill ambiance stuff. So that is that, uh, ambiance going in B, uh, bass house next. Uh, I tend to enjoy bass house quite a bit. I do like a decent amount of house. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of some, like, uh, like this time by the, by Pixel actually is a laundry matter. Pixel did a decent amount of bass house back then. I boss fights doing a little bit of bass house right now. I'm going to put this one also in, no, I'm going to put it in C. I think it's, it's good, but not like the greatest thing in the world. Kind of right in the middle. Uh, breaks up next. I enjoy breaks, um, but not a ton. I will say not a, not a really a lot. Breaks is really is isn't for me. Yeah, I don't know. It just something about it was not just the greatest for me. So I'm gonna put it in D. Uh, I I enjoy it, but I I don't think on the the average track of breaks I don't really enjoy a whole ton. Uh, so actually, no, that's a lie though. I do like breaks. I'll put it in C. I'll put it in C for now. Uh, <laughs> bro step. Uh, we have divided dubstep into dubstep is here as well, but bro step. Uh, garage, melodic dubstep, and rhythm. Uh, so bro step specifically, uh, this one is a one that's, again, that's all over the place just because there's so much variety of it. But I think on an average song, just with how much is out there, it's not great. Um, I think a, a general rule of thumb is a lot of the bro step out there I don't think is fantastic. And it's one of the more uh, derivative genres currently. Uh, so I'm going to put it uh, in, in D. I'm not a huge dubstep guy, so I'm going to put it in D. Uh, chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out next to ambient. Uh, what do I think about this? I, I love my chill out tracks. Uh, like if you're thinking like a Fiji, uh, Cloud Nun, um, even like a, 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 like Casbo is a decent amount of chill out or stuff that's a little more chill. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a fan of chill out personally and like chill out down tempo kind of the same here. So I'm gonna put it in A. Uh, I, I really do like, I'm a sucker for that, um, that, that trip hoppy chill stuff, so. Uh, commercial house. So this is your, like, you're really, it's like what would have been called progressive house back then now is commercial house as I've defined it at least. Uh, so this is like your, your big guys. This is like your Tiesto, uh, your like Martin Garrix does a decent amount, only a lot of lecture house, but, um, back then Avicii is a great example of commercial house. So, uh, your, your stuff that's very, that's like, it's progressive house, but just made for the radio, essentially commercial house. And so, I think more often than not, it's good. Uh, I'm going to put it in B. I'm going to put Commercial House in B. I think more often than not, it's it's solid. So, uh, Complextro, uh, very similar to Electro House, um, or this is what most people would just call Electro would be Complextro. So I'm thinking of like a, a Nitro Fun here. Um, a lot of artists do a variety of... The Nitro Fun, I think, is one of the best examples of Complextro, I would say. So uh, I, I tend to like it quite a bit, so I'm going to put it uh, in B. Um, it can be low, it can be very chip tuny like uh, Nitro Fun does, but big big fan of Electro. In, so we'll put it in B, but not not the hugest fan, if that makes sense. So uh, I've uh, also separated drum and bass into three. We've got halftime, dance floor drum and bass, and liquid drum and bass. So dance floor drum and bass is your like heavy hitting stuff. Um, this is your uh, your Reaper, your Muds for the most uh, for the most part. Um, that's kind of your your dance floor D and B. So. I like D&B, but I'm more of a liquid guy is my jam, but I do I do like it a decent amount, enough to say that it's in C. We'll say it's C. We'll say it's above, we'll say it's above break. Some dance floor drum and bass songs are like 
insane. Uh, but for the most part, I think they're pretty average. And so they're not, yeah, not for me sometimes. <laughs> but let's go into Deep House. Deep House uh, is actually an S for me. Uh, Deep House is one of my favorite genres. I really, really love it. Uh, if we're talking, it's got to be specific kind of Deep House. Obviously, there's a whole ton of variety of stuff. Um, I know most of you that watch are Monster Cat fans, so that's why I use a lot of Monster Cat examples. So like uh, Fiji Ouija's like Believe Her and Entropy is like what I would say is like the Deep House. Um, Solji uh, is another, uh, yeah, Solji is a great example of Deep House. Um, I can't think of, I don't know, off the top of my head, I can't think of many other, uh, Rootkit is another great example that kind of does some Deep House. So uh, the Karma Fields remix um, from Rootkit, the, the Build the City is fantastic. Um, but so I'm, I'm a huge fan of Deep House. I think it hits way more than it doesn't for me. And Deep House can be very chill too. So that's why I like it quite a bit. Uh, drum step. Okay, this is the. Uh, it is <laughs> drum and bass and dubstep and l pretty much just the two of them in one. So, how do I think of this compared to like a dance floor drum and bass? I would say more often than not, I enjoy drum step, uh, especially when it's uh, again speaking monster cat terms, the uh, style of Tristams. That's like the vine or my friend. Um, I tend to really like those. So I'm gonna put this in. Uh, I'm gonna put this up in B. Also, we'll say B for now. Uh, okay, this is a hard one. Uh, dubstep, just general dubstep. I'm thinking this is like your your basic dubstep. It's not your melodic, not your rhythm, kind of like your your very cookie cutter kind of dubstep is what I'm de defining as dubstep here. I know a lot of there's, I know this is like an overarching genre, but for the most part. Uh, so because it is overarching and there's some songs that are great, some songs that aren't so great with it, uh, I'm just gonna have to slot it in to see. I think it's just gotta go and see. Uh, Electro House, uh, another housey one that's kind of a mix between Complexro. Some people have Complexro and Electro House is the same, but I'm trying to think about uh, Case in Point is a decent amount of Electro House that I really like. Uh, Martin Garrix nowadays is a lot of Electro House, actually. Uh, and I think I, I think I actually really do enjoy Electro House. I think more often than not, the tracks are fantastic. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's good because it's got your kind of basic, very uh, approachable commercial beat. Uh, of house, but has that very electronic feel with being electro. So uh, I'm going to stop this in, right at B, right in a solid B. Uh, electronica. So this is a weird one. Um, I would consider electronica. I don't know if I'm right on this or if I have a totally different idea of what electronic is. I imagine electronica as your, like your Odessa or your Casbo for the most part um, that I would consider electronica. I don't know. That's just me. I don't know if you guys agree with me or even this is just a made up genre that I'm totally think of something something different i think it's that kind of stuff is like euro desert it's like more it's not quite you're like electro pop it's not like your chill wave it's kind of in between everything i would say it's electronica and i really really like electronica uh i'm putting it in in s i think for sure so that's what i think like even tristam nowadays is a little bit of electronica is is yeah all of this is all of this is subjective even on what you think the genres are so uh electro pop uh this is definitely what tristam is nowadays uh, tristam and your porter robinson as well uh but there's a lot of electro pop out in the world and uh i i like it i'm i'm a fan of again speaking of monster cat terms the instinct style of music uh the stuff that's more lighthearted, a little more easier to digest and so um I'm, I'm a big fan of electro pop so i'm putting it i'm putting an a i'm putting it above chill out i uh i i like electro pop quite a bit uh, electro rock uh, is an interesting one that kind of fusion here again where you have something like your puppet is electro rock but also your like gg madri uh, is like a little bit of electro rock too um, you've got some Elenium tracks recently have been kind of like fusion of electro rock your uh like dirty phonics and sullivan king is kind of in this category as well so really all over the place uh, i would say other than the uh, puppet is what i would say is like perfect electro rock for me but i think more often than not i think of like a sullivan king which i kind of like but not a ton so i'm gonna place that in uh in d i i think i think puppet is the exception the very rare exception here so uh, experimental this is uh, this is the most subjective of anything you could possibly get here uh, what even is experimental what does that mean to you what does that mean to me what is experimental and blah 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 i'm thinking here of like a uh like a karma fields is a great example of what i would say is a little more experimental uh, i'm trying to think of uh i think karma fields really is i think the best example of like oh, just a experimental sound um that's like i don't know more kismet is a little bit experimental in some areas. 
So I tend to like the more kind of out there style. Uh, so I'm going to put it in right at the kind of middle of B tier. So uh, Sun Lux or Sun Lux is a great uh, art, a great group that does experimental music. Not so much EDM, but like experimental as an overarching term. And I'm a huge fan. So uh, Festival Trap. Uh, so if the difference that I've said between Festival Trap and Hybrid Trap, Hybrid Trap is your like EDM trap, if that makes sense. I know that's hard to explain, uh, but like your uh, like Rogue Trap is um, here. Like your Rattlesnake is your like Hybrid Trap, um, where uh, your Festival Trap is the stuff that's like... I don't even, it's hard for me to explain, and I, I hate that I'm using this example, but like Arrow Chord was like Festival Trap is, this is the one that comes to my head always. So like you're, like when Pegboard Nerds does Trap or something like that, when Stonebank does his Trap, it's more like hybrid, um, but when it's Festival, it's a little more like, like Arrow Chord would do. So uh, I'm actually not a huge fan of Festival Trap at all. Uh, I'm putting it down in E. Uh, future base, uh, future base is a genre that I love. I think more often than not, it is a huge hit rather than a miss. I think there's so much creativity that can be done within the subgenre of future base. Um, also it's kind of is like a liquid trap for the most sense. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of future base. I'm putting an S I think more often than not you're going to get some good songs from future base rather than duds. I think this is of all the genres here. I think that's the one that has more, more successes than duds in any given like across all of eternity for the genre, honestly. So, uh, future rave. Uh, there is this new song with uh, Stonebank that uh, good for me. Um, future rave, but also there is like this is your Morton and a little bit of David Guetta as well. There, I went and listened to more of that kind of style. Uh, so it is very similar to like it's a, it's like a hybrid between trance and house. And so I was a fan of it, uh, but it was a little more on the commercial side. I think Stonebank did it way better uh, than. I've heard it anywhere else. Um, so I think, again, just like Electro Rock, I think Stone Bank's the exception. So I'm going to put it right above Electro Rock. Uh, Garage. This is your chill kind of, this is your uh, Mr. Fiji Ouija. This is your Cloud Nun. This is there are a lot of direct here. Uh, you've got a lot of different styles of Garage. Um, and so. I'm going to put this up in A. I've said this numerous times already. I, I love that kind of trip, chill, trip hop style of sound. And uh, Garage is pretty much that. Um, Drinks on Me is another great example of Garage, specifically, I guess, UK Garage. But uh, Glitch Hop. Uh, glitch Hop is a genre that kind of died. Um, it was really popular back with the, with the growth of dubstep and EDM as a whole. But uh, it's kind of fallen off the radar and not really existed much anymore. But uh, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. Uh, the songs were, yeah, they, they were they were fun. It wasn't anything too crazy. I'm going to have to put Glitch Hop right behind dubstep in C. Uh, halftime. Uh, it's just drum and bass, but in halftime uh, is the best way to put it. Um, this one is a little more... I think more often than not, it is more heavier. It's on the heavier side, uh, like dance floor rather than uh, liquid drum and bass. And so I would put this pretty close to dance floor. Uh, let's put it right behind. No, let's put it behind dubstep. I think I, more often than not, I think I, I like it more than glitch hop. Uh, this may be hard to read here, but happy hardcore and hard dance is next. Uh, happy hardcore can sound so like cheesy, like some Eurocore stuff, or it can be. Uh, like the greatest song you've ever heard of your life. Um, but uh, yeah, for me, the, the dong dong dong, like it just, I, it's not, it's not for me on, on any given day. So I'm going to put this, uh, I'll put it at the top of D. Uh, and hard dance is even less of my, it's, it's not as, it's, it's not happy. It's like sad, hardcore, <laughs> saddy, not happy, hardcore, I guess is the best way to put it. So I'm actually going to put this, um, I think I am, I'm going to put it in F. I really don't like, there are very, very few hard dance songs I really enjoy. Um, and so I'm putting it down here in F. Uh, hybrid Trap is next. Uh, I like it actually significantly more than Festival. Hybrid is the stuff that I would say is, like, oh, your, like your Slumberjack is also another great example of what I would say, Hybrid Trap, uh, hybrid trap Memba as well. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of Hybrid Trap and uh, I'm going to put this up in... B, I think actually, I like I like my hybrid trap. Very different than the festival stuff. Um, it's this is kind of it's. I don't really have good examples for them, but uh, if you just go 
look up a difference between hybrid trap versus a festival trap. There is a pretty significant difference, but that's that. Uh, indie dance. Um, I I really like the indie dance. I love this kind of stuff. I have electro pop up there. You can see. Um, I I'm a huge fan of like indie, even like indie tronica and just like that indie sound in general, like synth wave kind of stuff, um, or synth pop, I should say. And uh, so I'm putting it up in S, uh, right behind Future Bass. I, I just love how happy indie dance is for the most part. Um, it's so light and easy to listen to and danceable and uplifting, and I'm a fan. Uh, jungle. Uh, this is an odd one. There aren't very many examples of jungle. Uh, the best example I can think of, this is probably the most niche one on this whole list, uh, is uh, Jungle Beats from the Jack U album. Or is it called Jungle Beats? Jungle Bay? What's it called? One of the, It's called Jungle Something, and it's like, it's very much jungle and uh for the most part i've listened to quite a bit uh I'm not the hugest fan i'm putting it right behind festival trap but festival trap and jungle are very similar it's just kind of the atmosphere of it so i'll put it there uh liquid dnb i like significantly more than dance for dnb for the most part uh, it's a little more a uh, little, little more palatable i guess is a good way to put it so uh i'm gonna be popping this uh right behind a complex row. I think we'll say we'll say liquid DNB is there. This is like your, um, I don't know, your Ram SSB is a great example of liquid DNB. Um, so, yeah, I like faint. Another one, uh, melodic bass. Uh, I'm considering melodic bass as your. This is your more kismet. Uh, I think that's really the best way to put it. It's like your kind of really fun, funky, colory things. I would say this is like kind of color um, bass. Uh, I I think this is like sort of the best way to put his melodic bass is like color bass. Um, but, uh, yeah. So the, I would, I would say it's like this, like chime is a little bit of that too. So, uh, hmm, where do I want to put this though? This is a fun genre, but I don't, I don't personally love it a whole ton. Uh, I think we are going to put it above dubstep behind dance floor drum and bass. I think that's where we're going to put it. So, uh, melodic dubstep. Uh, this is your Elenium, your Griffin, uh, your um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the other name. I right, well, that's we're, we're, that doesn't matter. Uh, I think more often than not, this genre has been beat to the ground. It is very derivative. There is just nothing creative about these genres anymore. It's just I I've heard the same thing over and over again. But that being said, I used to really like it. There is some good of it. So I'm gonna put it just in the top of E. Uh, for now, I. Five years ago, I would have said Melodic Dubstep was one of the best, but nowadays, I just, I, I don't get it. Uh, mid-tempo, uh, this is very similar. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Forget that, what I was, not very similar. Uh, mid-tempo is your fool, I think is your best example. Um, Gigi Madri, even Madri had a mid-tempo track on Monster Cap. Uh, mid-tempo, I think less than Future Rave, even. I'm going to put it at the bottom of... D. I haven't, yeah, that's not too much for me, I would say. Uh, Moombaton and Moomba Core, uh, very, very similar to that kind of trap, uh, festival trap jungle style. Very, very similar. This is like your Dylan Francis, a great example, I think, of Moomba. And uh, I would probably put this lower uh, than most. I think I'm going to put this behind Jungle Night. Uh, no, I'll put it above. I'll put it above Jungle for now. Uh, new Disco, this is your televisor, is really the best example of New Disco without even a, a shadow of a doubt. Uh, really big fan. I, I love back old school disco that's not even like the EDM style stuff. And Daft Punk dabbles in a lot of French house and New Disco. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the New Disco. I like these kind of styles. You've, you've kind of heard it before. So we're going to put it up here in A. I should put it right behind Garage. Uh, progressive house. Uh, yeah. Um, I think everyone kind of knows what progressive house is at this point. I would say cascade is one of the best examples. Um, even like your bigger names, like this is your, uh, uh, Armin van Buren. Um, I think is a little more on the progressive house side nowadays, but, uh, yeah, this one's similar to commercial house for me, uh, a little bit less, I would say. So I'm going to put a dress below liquid DNB. Uh, side trance. I know you guys really do love side trance. Infected mushroom is a great example. Um, I just, I'm not the hugest side trance guy. I don't know. It's just not for me. I enjoy it and I appreciate it. Um, but, uh, yeah, and not, not really for me. So this is again, obviously this whole list is very subjective. Um, I am going to put it, uh, just behind electro rock, uh, rhythm, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm putting this one in F, uh, just because I am putting it above hard dance. 
I cannot get into rhythm. I tried to get into rhythm, and there's some stuff that I can appreciate, but I just, I don't get it. I, I don't understand rhythm, I think. So that's that's just me. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. So I, there's so much more bad rhythm, I think, than there is good. So that's why it's down an F. Uh, synthwave uh, Pilot is one of the greatest examples, I would say, of Synthwave. Um, there's lots of other artist examples out there. I, you, honestly, in all honesty, I probably should have given an example of all of these genres beforehand. But um, yeah, Synthwave, good. Not as good as like the new disco or indie dance kind of stuff. The same color here. Uh, I like it, but I, I find it just to be a little bit too samey. A lot of it sounds very, very similar, so I don't love it a ton uh, just because it gets, it just sounds like the same song. I've heard one Synthwave song and I've heard like a million. So I think I'm going to put it behind Melodic Bass in C. So we're actually pretty far down compared to the other ones. Uh, techno. Uh, this is your more harder hitting sounds. Um... I don't even know the great... Ex oh, uh, Grimes is a good example of techno, even though that's a little more out there compared to the rest of these artists that I've um, said. Uh, techno is another similar one to, like, Psytrance, where I just... I, I It's not for me. Uh, but I think more often than not, it's not that great. So I'm actually going to put this uh, right behind Melodic Dubstep, we'll say. Uh, and trance, uh, I actually like side trance more than trance, um, not by a whole ton more. It just, I would rather listen to house than trance. They're, they're quite similar. So, uh, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put trance just at the end here of D. And finally, to close it all out is tropical house. Uh, your Kygo is the great example of tropical house. Really pretty much the only person that does tropical house nowadays. That's, that's big enough or not enough, but that big. And, uh, yeah, it's very similar to, to synth wave. You've heard one tropical house song and you've heard a million tropical house songs. So, uh, I think I got to put it behind synth wave, even lower here. I think I'm going to put it behind. I would rather listen to side trance, I think than tropical house. So I think we're gonna put it there. So, uh, that is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, again, all of this is very subjective, even just your opinions and, uh, what you even think of the genres and what they even sound like. So, uh, this is, we, great discussion in the comments and uh, don't get too mad at me for naming a genre wrong or not having a genre or describing it poorly or don't get too mad at me i'm i'm not perfect but bye <laughs>